What's up, everyone? William H here. Thank you for clicking on my video today. I wanted to share with you guys another full day in the life of a delivery driver, okay? Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, 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 and like my video. And for those who have been returning and watching my videos, you know, I want to take this moment to say that I appreciate you guys. And as you may know, I start off every day, you know, almost every day working out. Okay. And for today's workout, I did a full body workout, meaning that I hit everything, every muscle group in my body. I'm going to go ahead and put the list of my workout for you guys just in case you want to know oh and if you haven't yet guys go ahead and add me on snap i put quotes almost every morning you know quotes like this a big question i get asked a lot and people ask this quite frequently william don't you get tired after you work out and fact of the matter is i leave the gym feeling full of energy okay if you leave the gym feeling like you freaking died at the gym right and it's not an effective workout okay a good workout is supposed to leave you feeling full of energy okay so i just got to work you know as you can see the vans are out there in the back you get a good look at that People are starting to line up already. We usually start at 9.20, but I like to get here a little bit before before 9, right? Sometimes I come an hour before work. Sometimes I come an hour and a half, right? And uh, today, you know, I was a little off, you know? I had a time went by quick when I was working out and I didn't even notice. And then after that, I had to go get some water gallons, right? Cause I was low. So I came a little, a little late, but I came before we actually start. big thing i want you guys to know is that every dsp is different okay some dsps park inside the station some dsps park in different parking lots <laughs> Then I got yesterday. Another day in the office, guys. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. So. We just lined up right now. Line up one by one. Now, every area, every state, you know, it's different, right? So, the pay varies from area to area, right? So, a couple weeks ago, I had gone to a trip in Redlands, California. Um, I have a sister that's going to move out there. And there's DSPs that are paying nineteen fifty an hour, you know? So, I'm guessing it just varies. A lot of people ask me, like, how much does... Uh, Amazon delivery pay and I always answer the same way you know it varies it depends on where you're at you know so if you if you're thinking about becoming a delivery driver an Amazon delivery driver you know a good way to find out how much they pay in your area is to go through indeed.com look up Amazon delivery driver and it should give you an idea how much you should make every hour you know so quick tip Today, we are going to be in the city of Dinuba. Nothing major, nothing major. I was actually here yesterday too. I'm 
can just finish off with some country route. Hundred eighty four. I've said this in my past videos, this job requires you to be organized, okay? The last thing that you want to do is to look for a single package in the middle of your route and have to go through all of this mess, you know? Be organized, my good people, you know, it, this job, you have to be really efficient. All right, everyone. So I just got to my first stop. Check this out. It's literally, it's literally that house right there, okay? Now, before I actually start my route, I'm gonna tell you guys that every day is a great day, okay? Life is amazing. Even when sometimes you might think it's not, life is amazing, all right? Now, for today's route, check out my route. Check out my route. Here. Not too bad, I guess. Could be better. Could be worse, right? I'll show you guys the office. So this is gonna be my first one. Second. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. All the way in the back. And today I did get a white man, so just letting you guys know. So the first thing I do before I even get to my first stop, I have to organize my packages, okay? What do I mean by this is that for my boxes, I like to organize the labels by street name. And what do I mean by this is that if a street is called Harvard, I like to have all the boxes that have Harvard close to each other. And same thing with the envelopes. All right, guys, you're about to watch me ramp through this route, you know. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and like.
So I started to get a little hungry. So I decided to pull over and start eating my lunch, okay? So for today's meal, we got some chicken, we got some potatoes, and we got a little bit of vegetables as well. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like a big reason why I'm meal prep, you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know, it saves time. It really does, you know? Like, say I did a meal prep, right? Then I would have to go find a restaurant and I would have to wait for my food and then I would have to eat my food and by the time like I'm done I already wasted like 40 minutes of my time right and I have to go back into my route you know it just takes time right I personally I like to meal prep right I like to know what, exactly what I'm eating and I like to know how much of it I put in my body right because sometimes fast food restaurants they, they would cook with like oil that's not really healthy for you and by me cooking this food I know exactly what's in it and I know how much protein I get I know how much carbs I know how much fats I get because I do it myself right and you might be asking like William how do you meal prep good question right I have a handful of videos that I made in the past you know I title them how do I meal prep as a delivery driver so go ahead and check those out but for right now we're gonna get into this right man you guys should start calling me chef William do foods they look forward to eating all right that's a big big thing about meal prepping and if you don't know now you know right oh and another thing stay hydrated let me show you guys exactly where I'm at in my route. Let me go over there. As you can see, I still got all that bunch. As you can see, I already completed 68 stops. So I got 119 left. You know, I don't run a lot. But if I'm a little behind, you know, I tend to, you know, switch it up a little bit. I tend to speed things up and... You know, you're about to watch me how I do it, right? And you might be asking, William, how do you go so fast? Good question. I actually have, I have a video that I made a while ago. I titled it, three tips on how to go faster working as a driver. Go ahead and check those out. But for right now, you're gonna watch me finish this route.
So that was my last stop right now. And as you can see, we're out here in the country. Countryside. But anyways, you know, I personally love country routes, if I'm being honest. And the reason being is because like, I grew up in the country, right? If you guys don't know, I'm a country boy, all right? And for those of you who don't know, Central Valley is loaded with agriculture, okay? We have a city here, it's called Selma. It's, uh, it's actually the raisin capital of the world. And you know, that's just one cash crop that is grown here in the Central Valley. We got almonds, we got peaches, we got lemons, we got blueberries, we got everything, guys. You know what I mean? If it's a plant and it produces a fruit, you know, you more than likely it's grown here in the Central Valley, right? But anyways, that about wraps it up for my video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.